ಗಣಪತಿಹವಾಮಹೆ ಕವಿ ಕವೀನಾಮಶ್ರವಸ್ತಮ ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠರಾಜ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಸ್ಪಹಾನ ಶೃಣ್ವನ್ನೂತಿ ಸೀತ ಸಾಧನ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾಗಣಾಧಿಪತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ವೃಷಭಂ ಚ ಶ್ರಣೀನ ವಿಶ್ವಮದಾಭ್ಯಂ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿ ವರೇಣ್ಯಂ ಓಂ ತದ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪರಮ ಪದ ಸದಾ ಪಶ್ಯಂತಿ ಸೋದಯ ದಿಲೀಪಚಕ್ಷುರಾತಕ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀಂ ಶ್ರೀಂ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಹರೇ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓಂ ಪರಾಶರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಪರಾಶರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಪರಾಶರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಘಣಿಸೂರ್ಯ ಆನಿತ್ಯ ಓಂ ಓಂ ಘಣಿಸೂರ್ಯ ಆನಿತ್ಯ ಓಂ ಓಂ ಘಣಿಸೂರ್ಯ ಆನಿತ್ಯ ಓಂ ಆದಿತ್ಯ I already have one, Aditya Satish for example. Yes sir. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Aditya. The same? 11.50.20 it says time. Uh-huh. July 26, 1997. Is, is it the right date? July 26, 1997. Yes sir. 11.50.20 am. Yeah, that, that is the correct time. That is the bad time, sir. This is the correct time. Okay. At least so. I see, I see. So, we saw this uh, recently, actually. A few couple of months back. Okay. I think. At the end of last year. Ah, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, correct time is? 11.24. 11.24. Yes, sir. Old time was? 11.50. Yes, and you probably get 11.45 or 11.50 and we get fed as 11.50.24. Mm-hmm. okay and then i don't know um, we don't have too many events we just have events relating to mbbs and coming here yeah just a couple of events okay and the oh original time was 1152 okay hmm um this this mom called me up and yeah i didn't have the right time so okay and I, and this time is no supposed to be accurate yes sir it okay. is supposed to be accurate but the problem is There is a one minute discrepancy still, so yeah. I think it is 11.23. Okay, it's on the border basically. Yes. So But the thing is, we are in the ballpark. Yes. If we are in the ballpark, then we can try to do something. Hello? Okay. Okay, so uh, we will see. So what are we seeing? Uh, is uh, Dasam Sasha. Career. For, for his career. Okay. So the events I have earlier were... Hello? Jai Shri Ram. Yeah, actually I am in Estrada class, Manish. We will talk later. Okay. Bye. Jai Shri Ram. Bye. Okay. So, uh, the events I have are Dr. LBBS in India wants to come here and pursue MS Cardiology, coming to US on business visa to, or to take exams. 
Change in this is on national D24 and medical, okay. Alvi basically knows that he has medical education. Mm -hmm. He did MBBS in India. And he wants to come here and should I, should he pursue, should he come here and pursue MSc? He is here. Or, he is okay. here. Um, he has written his all his steps and he is okay. trying to get in right now. And his question is whether he should continue doing it or, or go, go back to India and yeah. do work there. Yeah. Pretty much the same thing was asked earlier at the end of last year. And we rectified the time based on, just based on D24 and medical education. And that's basically the only event we had. And we knew that in June, July 2010, he finished MEPS. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. The, the problem was um, with this chart also. Yeah. I right away told them that within 49 seconds, yeah. uh, the, the rasa changes. Oh, rasa D24 also 5 seconds, that is change. Yeah. Everything is changing, sir. And yeah. I can give you the complete... Rashi Lagna is on the border, you said? Yes, sir. Oh, sorry, sir, sir. I didn't change the time yet. 11.24. I just made a note, but I didn't change it physically. Yeah. It's on a border. Yeah. So, it's, yeah, 11 seconds earlier it will change. Okay. So, what do we do? What do we know? Is there anything... He's, he's a 5'11 height. He's very slender, just like me. Yeah. Um, and very tall. Yeah. And when he talks, he talks very fast. Talks very fast. Yeah. He yeah. is very Absolutely. quick. Rush, uh -huh. Yeah. He's very quick in understanding all of that, sir. He understands it very good, and he has a younger sister. Okay. Um, Actually, why don't I note down? Tall, speaks fast, good grasping power, and he communicates really very well. Younger sister. Younger sister. He has one younger sister and that's it. And okay. there was no miscarriage in, in, in the middle. Uh, okay. Okay, very good. Let's see. Now... So the Lagna, forget about all the usual shots now. Take Rashi and Navamsa. Does Tula make more sense or Kanja make more sense? Is he intelligent, analytical, that kind of person, logical, analytical, intelligent kind of person, or would you say diplomatic? He's, a, he's actually, uh, he's analytical and logical when yeah. it comes to talking and communicating, mm -hmm. but he has he has his way around um, people. He has his way around people. Yeah. I wouldn't say diplomatic, but mm -hmm. he can still manage around people. Okay. And one thing you said is he's allotment. Yes, sir. That is an interesting data point because with Tulalagna, the second house will contain Seni. And the second lord Mars is debilitated. So with second lord, the second lord in the ninth is a, in the tenth is a good placement. Because second lord is in a trine from his own house. But the thing is, the fact that he is debilitated there, the second lord, he doesn't really show excellent speaking power, abilities. Moreover, neither Mercury nor Jupiter has much to do with the second house. Because they are the ones who really give good power of expression, good speech. So, the fact that he is allowed... Manda planet is hmm? Also, Manda planet is in second place. Mandi? Yeah. Not Mandi, it's in Manda. No, Saturn is in second place. Yeah, right, right. I mentioned that also first. Saturn is there and the Lord is debilitated. So, both the ways, it is, it is not really that conducive to being a good speaker. So, that... One data point suggests that it may be Kanya Lagna. If it's Kanya Lagna, Kanya basically, Kanya people are smart, intelligent, and analytical, and also Mercury is well placed. So Mercurian traits will dominate, and Mercurian traits are basically being able to understand anybody, uh, being able to get along with anybody, those are Mercurian traits. And basically intelligent and good communication skills. And if you take the second house now, the second lord Venus, right, second lord Venus is in, uh, he is in Cancer. Second lord Venus is in Cancer. Basically, he is in a quadrant from his own sign. And Cancer is a very fruitful sign. Even though it's not a friendly sign or exaggeration sign or something, at least he is not debilitated like Mars. And most importantly, Jupiter will have an aspect on the second house. Jupiter will have a very close aspect on the second house actually because Jupiter is at the beginning of Aries. And the other thing is, uh, the other factor is, 
if it is kanya lagna, if it is tula lagna, lagna lord mercury, lagna lord venus, is in a, is in cancer, is in a jalarasi. And lagna lord is venus, a jalarasi of planet. And Jupiter is aspecting lagna. So overall you would expect a kapha type personality. If it is tula lagna, the person will be slightly stout and well built. But you are saying lean and tall, right? So that basically shows vata nature. And if I take the, if I take Lagna in Virgo, then the thing is Lagna will contain Ketu in it. Ketu can give either Pitta or Vata and Rahu is affecting and Rahu is Vata. And the other thing is the Lord of the house, Mercury, he is basically in old sign. Mercury is Trigoshi. He can have all the Oshas. But the thing is, is a, when he is in one sign, in a voice of Rashi, there can definitely be Vata element in the personality. So, he is being a Vata type uh, physical build from what you are describing, makes a little more sense with the Virgo Lagna than the Tola Lagna. So, those factors suggest that it may be Virgo instead of Libra. But the thing is, let's take some more, one more uh, divisional chart. Let's take D4. Let's not jump to D24 because uh, D24 will change every 3 minutes or so. So let's basically go to D4 and confirm this. With D4, if you take Tula Lagna, then the last, the, sorry, the first one in Tula is Tula. So D4 Lagna is Tula. Whereas if you change the time back by 10 seconds, it will go to Gemini, right? The last one in Virgo. So the 10th from Virgo it will be. So it will be Gemini. You can change the time and check, but you can estimate it mentally. It will be Gemini. So the size is between Sula and Mithra. Okay? And do you know when he came to US? Uh, it, was, it was last year, sir. 2011. When? Don't know? Don't know. Okay. This was? I think we discussed this last time. He may have visited earlier, but the thing is, this is when he came and now he is here for yeah, a for longer duration. Yeah. So, 2011, sometime in 2011 he came to US. We don't know exactly when. Go to D4 Misho Tridasa. So, Senators have brought him abroad. Senators have took the person abroad. Okay? Senators have took the person abroad. Does it make sense? And let's not, we are not sure of the Antar Dasa, but let's just use the Maha Dasa. During Sanjay Dasa, the person came abroad. Does it make sense? He is the ninth lord in the twelfth house. If with the Tula Lagna, he is the Yokarka and he is in the eighth house. So some instability, some auspicious instability is possible. But the thing is, Gemini is showing more dark, clearly going to a faraway place. Now you said something about siblings. So what do we know there about siblings? So the Rekkana, the choice is between Tula itself and Taras. Right? The first Rekkana in Tula will be Tula itself and the last Rekkana in Kanya will be Rishabha. So it's a choice between Taras and Libra. Now, what do we know about younger sibling? We know that there is a younger sibling, right? <coughs> huh? He has a sister. She, she has a younger, younger, you said, or younger sister. Younger sister, one younger sister. Okay, so with Tula, with, if you take Tula, the third house is counting forward, the third house is Sagittarius. And if Lord is Jupiter, he is in Aries, that would, uh, that, that, that can suggest a uh, male, male child. But the thing is, we can't really be so sure with Rakana, like, unlike Mr. Pansa. You can't really be, the principle of finding the gender doesn't really work well. So we can't dismiss based on that, because we know his sister. But the thing is, unfortunately we don't know much about the sister. Basically, sister Sarskov should have a strong superior influence. But the thing is, if you take the other one, if you take Taras, the third from there counted backwards, because it's even sign, is again same, Pisces. And that is owned by Jupiter. So, the sibling is shown by Jupiter either way. So, the thing is, we don't really have any use of that, that information. So, let's, if you want to the Rekana data point, 
But the Chaturthansa does suggest that Gemini may be right. And the basic personality traits that you suggested do suggest that there is, a, there is an error in the time. And finally, let's go to D24. Now the thing is that Lagna will be either Gemini, if it is the end of Virgo, right? Or it will be Leo. So Gemini, Leo are the choices we have. And the thing is, good thing is, backward and forward we have like 4 minute window. We just have to identify whether it is Gemini or Leo. It can't be probably Taurus because that requires 5 minutes, 4 minutes of error backwards. Similarly, it can't be Virgo because that requires forward error of 4 minutes. So, because we are right on a border, you just have to consider two signs. And they happen to be Gemini and Leo. Yes. Yeah. It's not, it's not uh, continuous because there is a change in the sign itself, in the Rati chart. So, Gemini and Leo, which one explains medical education better? How do you see the bachelor's education? From the ninth house. Ninth house. And if you take uh, Leo, how is the ninth house? Mars. And what did he do? Was there any specialization in the MBBS or it was generic? generic MBBS. Okay. If you take Leo, <coughs> and one more thing, apart from the fact that he studied medicine, do we know anything like he is a smart student? He is a, he's a very smart student, sir. Uh, he's, he's got all toppers in, in up to 10th standard. Uh -huh. And then right away he got selected into okay. medical, a very good school, uh -huh. um, medical college in um, Andhra Pradesh itself. Okay. He's got like uh, 110 rank or whatever. Okay. So he is basically, he, he did very well. He is a very good student. Okay. Okay. So l let us see. So if you take Leo, the ninth lord is ninth house is not affected by anybody, by his lord Mars, and the ninth lord is Mars, and he is in Virgo. He is with Venus and Saturn. So ninth lord is Mars with Venus and Saturn, and Mars can show medicine, but the thing is, uh, he, he he will probably show engineering also especially in an Ethereum sign. So probably you would have expected engineering, but you can make some case. Whereas, and the thing is, will he be an intelligent person with Lagna in Virgo, the Lagna in Leo? The Lagna Lord Sun and the Fifth Lord Jupiter are together, but in Sixth House and Inimical sign. There is a Rajoga between Lagna Lord and Fifth Lord, but Fifth Lord is in the Sixth House and in Debility. So when the Fifth Lord is in Debility in an Inimical sign, Basically, this, uh, this shows lucky person, but how intelligent he is is, is, is debatable basically. There are some weaknesses. Whereas, if you take Gemini, let us see how that stacks up. If you take Gemini, there is a Parvatana between Lagna Lord and Ninth Lord. Right? Lagna Lord Mercury is in Ninth and Ninth Lord Rahu is in Lagna. So, there is, and they are friends. Both of them are in friendly houses, right? So there is a friendly Rajoga between Lagna Lord and Ninth Lord that gives Lakshmi Yoga basically, Parvatana. That makes, very, that makes him very fortunate in the matter of learning. And But when it comes to in, intelligence, how do you see intelligence from the fifth house? How is the fifth house? <coughs> fifth Lord is debilitated in the fourth house. In a quadrant, that is better than the sixth house. A fifth Lord in, the quad, in a quadrant is a good thing. Moreover, he is closed with Ninth Lord Seni. Right? Mercury actually, by the way, has a Parvatana with Seni too. Mercury has a Parvatana with Rahu as well as Seni. He has two Parvatanas. So, the Fourth Lord and Ninth Lord have a Parvatana. So, there, Mercury is involved in two really powerful Rajyogas. And Venus is involved with that Rajyoga. And his, he also, Ninth Lord with the Fifth Lord is very good in a camera. So, it's a good Rajyoga basically. Gives a good sense of direction in studies. But the problematic thing is, Venus is debilitated. And one more problematic thing is, Mars is affecting them. Mars is affecting them. But the thing is, is there any distance between Mars? See, Mars and Saturn are together, but Venus is actually far away from them. So, uh, so Mars effect is not really a big deal. But at the same time, Saturn yoga is also not really a big deal. So, but, but the thing is, the fixed art is debilitated. But, the, but now, Unlike in the other case, where Fifth Lord is debilitated in a Dusthana, 
here he is debuted in a Kendra and more importantly, Lagna is very powerful. Lagna Lord is involved in two Rajogas, two exchange Rajogas and Lagna contains nine class. So, Lagna is very powerful and moreover the Lagna Lord being victory can make the person very basically very smart with good memory, good analytical skills etc. So, from the point of view of being intelligent, this makes a little more sense. But, how about education, medical education? The ninth, the ninth house will show bachelor's education. What are the influences on the ninth house? What are the influences on the ninth house? Mercury is there and lots are Saturn and Rahu. Right? Now, are there any indications of medical education? Who gives medical education? Who gives medical education? Moon, sun. Sun is supposed to give, yeah. Mars can give. Mars Mask can make one a surgeon, but, but medicine itself is given by sun and moon, the human being. And especially sun is the karka, main karka. So, is there any chance of getting their influence on the ninth house? What if we take the previous one, previous Lagna? Let's say time is 11.19 or 11.18, let's see. No, What was the time given? 11.20, right? 11.24. 11.24, okay. So, let's say Data is February 26, 1997, no, right? Something July, is July 26. July. Yeah, I, I just changed the, uh, now it makes sense. But getting the data, I think I changed the month. Okay. So, let's say 1190. That should be enough. No, that's not enough. 1118. 1118. Yeah, 1118. Let's say 1118. Let's put the Lagna in Taurus. If Lagna is Taurus, then, how is the chart? Lagna contains an exalted planet and Lagna Lord, though debilitated, is in the fifth house of intelligence and fifth Lord, Mercury is in a friendly sign in a Kendra and he has a Parivartana with Saturn. Fifth and tenth Lord have a Parivartana. Right? So basically, fifth house is very powerful. It contains Rajogas, which is Lagna Lord, ninth Lord, tenth Lord and seventh Lord. So, it contains a powerful Rajogas and this Lord is like quadrant. So, basically very intelligent, very intelligent person. Okay. And Lagna is also very powerful. And secondly, if you take the ninth house, the ninth Lord Saturn is with Venus and Mars, but the thing is ninth house itself contains Sun. Though there is also debilitated Jupiter, he is, he is a male fate and Sun is clearly there. So, and Sun is closer to the cusp of the ninth house. So, Sun is Sun is the most dominant influence on the ninth house. He is a quadrant lord in a trine. So, he is well placed though in a certain individual sign. So, this can show you a doctor. Sun's influence on the ninth house. Okay? So, if we do this, none of the other things that we talked about earlier change anyway. Rashi will be remain the same. Jalatharcha will remain the same. Rakana will remain the same. So, let's take this. In, in, 
in the last two years of his education, so yeah. 2008 to 2010, yeah. he had issues, um, a lot of issues from uh, his uh, professors uh -huh. um, and his, his, his classmates. Yeah. He was, he was involved in a lot of... Um, did, it affect his, did it affect his studies? It, uh, up to a point of time, they just thought he would... Um, stop. He would stop. Give up. But okay. Luckily, um, everything. Okay. So towards the end of the, even though he had a, he was a brilliant person, towards the end of his studies, he actually went through some rough patch. Yes. Okay. That's a very good data point. So let's see the data that was running then. Okay. D twenty four, sir. D twenty four. D twenty four. We show three data. The data running then was that of Rahu Venus. The Dasha is that of Rahu Venus, okay? The answer, answer Dasha is that of Rahu Venus. Right? Yes. Now, can there be some clashes in the Venus period, some obstacles, some clashes? Is the sixth lord also? Venus is the Lagna lord, but he is also the sixth lord. So basically, if you look at this chart, being the sixth lord, Venus can give some problems. And being the eighth lord, Jupiter also can give some problems. Jupiter period and Venus period can give some problems. So, it is possible. And moreover, he is with the Karka. Basically, Mars is the Karka for quarrels and fights with people. Even though there is some distance, he is basically with Mars. So, he is with the Karka and he is the lord of a house. So, when the lord of a house he is with the Karka, moreover, the house is empty. Right? And there are no powerful influences on it, aspects also. If there is a powerful aspect in planet, they can give the result. But the sixth house is basically empty and not aspected by anybody. So sixth lord will have to give the results if there are any quarrels or any fights. And being with the Karka Mars also, he becomes even more qualified to give the result. So during Venus and the Dasha, there can be some problems. Now, but the thing is, Venus being the uh, Lagna Lord also, he will be involved in different yogas. He basically won't make make him give up basically. Had he just been the sixth Lord, maybe it would have been different. But he is also a favorable planet. And one more thing actually. Taking the ninth house as Lagna, okay, of the Bachelor of Education, the eighth Lord is in Lagna, the eighth Lord's son. So the thing is, some political problem, some tension, eighth lord in the lagna is a combination for tension, right? So, relating to the bachelor's education, there can be some tensions for the person. Whereas with the Gemini lagna that we saw earlier, the ninth house is containing Mercury, the lagna lord. So taking the ninth house as lagna, fifth lord Mercury is in lagna. Even though he is also eighth lord, he is also fifth lord. Fifth lord in lagna, lagna lord in fifth. So it is relatively cleaner, but here, to male fifth, taking Capricorn as Lagna, to male fifth are restricting it. So it's third lord and eighth lord. Yeah, it, it was as though he was in a he was in a brawl with his uh, professors and mm -hmm. there were a lot of politics against him. Yeah. And that was a phase where every one of us were like very scared with what's mm -hmm. going to happen. Sun is basically, Sun shows all the political problems with administrators. And Jupiter gets, uh, basically Jupiter and Sun, they show people with knowledge and people with power. And both of them are bad planets for Capricorn. Third Lord, Twelfth Lord and Eighth Lord. I mean, it's not even Raja, Vitaif Rajoga because they are in Lagna. Eighth Lord, Twelfth Lord together in a Dushthana would have been Vitaif Rajoga. So, so, so the, the, that can show some problems. So that also adds up. So most likely the time is off. The final time given 11.24 is off. Let's say take 11.18 or 11.18.30 or whatever. See, it is 1130 enough, yeah, 11, 8, let's take 1130 as the rectified time. I'll just make a note. Rectify. Actually, one note is still valid. Rectify this now, study. Okay. Any... Now, the question is relating to Kerry, right? Now, the thing is, irrespective of the D24 rectification, the D10 Lagna is basically fixed. Ajanka, the Rashi rectification is correct. 
So, but the thing is, uh, if we are more confident of the D24 also, whether Lagna in the is in the first half or second half also, we can be more confident of. That's why it's useful to rectify as thoroughly as we can. But the thing is, that was not really needed. All we needed to be confident of was just the Rashi chart. We have a leeway of seven and a half minutes backward and five and a half minutes forward here. So, Kumbha is rising. Aquarius is rising in the D10 chart. Any comments? How is the time right now? Look at the Dasha, Nishwatri Dasha of D10. Look at the D10 Nishwatri Dasha. What is the Dasha running right now? Kes Dasha is running for another four years or three years. Three more years. How is the Kes Dasha? And then Venus Dasha comes. Now the thing with K2 is he is the 10th Lord, but he is in the 8th house. So, he is not really a great planet for a flying start in the career. He can delay career or he can give break in the career. He is okay basically. This is not, if he wants to start his career, well he can, but the thing is this is not really an auspicious time. Whereas if you take Venus, after 2015 Venus Dasha comes, he is, he is a great planet. Why? He is Yokarka. He is Yokarka, ninth Lord with Lagna Lord. Right? And from, from Sun, he is exalted in the 11th house. Lagna Lord exalted in the 11th house with the 10th Lord. And from Moon, he is the 4th Lord and 11th Lord exalted in the 9th house. So basically he has, he, he, is, he, is, well, he is exalted and he is well placed or he is a benefit planet from various references. So, Venus Dasha should be a very good Dasha in Kerry. But the uh, Kerry Dasha that is running right now is quite average. It doesn't really stand out. So, I will not even be surprised. And one more thing is, uh, yeah, one more thing is, it is possible that Kerry may not even start during this time because the Dasha Lord is in the 8th house. Is he actually in the 8th house? Or just look at the longitude. Lagna is a 17 Aquarius, K2 is a 22 Pisces, Virgo. So he is exactly in the 8th house. It's not like the house has changed. So he is in the 8th house. So though he is the 10th Lord, K2 gives results more based on the house he occupies than the house he owns. So being in the 8th house, he gives only delay and setbacks and anxiety relating to Kerry. So my feeling is he may actually go, go with studies now instead of working. And then after Venus period starts in 2015, only then he may actually start working. But the good, but the bottom line is between 2015 and 2035. That is a very important period in his life, right? Approximately the age of 30 to 50. That is basically like the crux of your career. That period is running a great dasha. So he will definitely have a successful career, and he should basically build it in the next three four years. Don't rush into career. He has to do the education or the job? For, for a doctor in the US, it works both ways. I mean, he is trying to pursue his education, but that means he has to get his H1 and all that. So yeah. H1? Be, I see. Yeah, no, but a doctor in the US, you need more of a US degree than an Indian degree. Yeah. For a person who is coming from India to, you know, the Indian doctor, if he is trying to come into the US no, and also. So with an Indian doctor, he cannot be directly into a profession here. He has already written his text, um, all the three steps that needs to be written. Uh -huh. So, all he needs is a seat in a university and yeah. for, to pursue the education, he is still studying here, sir. He would still be a master's student here. Okay. But for that, he needs his H1 to be sponsored. Why do you need H1 for studies? Is uh, it H1 or something else? Is J1 or um, H1? H1, sir. But he gets oh. paid when he is on that position. So I see, I see, I see. Okay. Doctor is a little weird here when yeah, he comes yeah, okay. from India. Okay. So, So, how is the education right now, sir? That is the next thing I am going to see. Look at D24, Bottom line is, because K2 is with the 3rd and 10th Lord Mars, and he is in the 8th house, this period you can expect lot of breaks, lot of changes, and amalgamation of various things. 
and also because he is with mass third law some temporary short term kind of positions bottom line is we don't expect a stable good career basically but once he has come we expect that so after three years there is a much better period okay d24 so is the d24 you saw the reason what is the sir running right now rahu he is in rahu mass <coughs> right that is rahu moon but after the rahu mass and then jupiter will start okay how is rahu for bachelor's education i uh, mean master's education he is in the second house he is in the second house so rahu being in the second house uh this period is conducive to doing the masters master studies and how about mars tantra sorry moon tantra is there any right now is that of moon how is moon third lord in lagna yeah he is third lord in lagna how is the place for the masters education third from the yeah taking masters education as lagna taking the master education as lagna he is second lord in the 12th house exalted in the 12th house so he can give a foreign travel for master education basically it called planet in the 12th house shows foreign travel for that purpose so an exalted because he is an exalted planet he is a fruitful result giver so and he is under the sky is running right now so traveling going abroad and studying abroad is a possibility and moreover from the lagna lord mercury he is a kendra so from gemini lord he is a kendra so he is well placed basically so he is overall conducive to master's education and especially because now that he has come abroad he is even more conducive and then mars comes how is mars taking the second house as lagna Mars is sixth and eleventh lord in the fourth house. He is not so good. He is sitting at Kendra, being a male sick, right? So they can, and because he is the sixth lord, there can be some obstacles relating to the pursuing of the master's degree here. There can be some problems that will come up at the, at the end of this year or next year. But the thing is, after that Jupiter will come. Jupiter, Jupiter. How is Jupiter this year? He is a male fig, but debilitated male fig. So a male fig being debilitated is good, but uh, more, the and the other thing is uh, taking the second house as Lagna. He is the seventh lord in the eighth house. He is a clear marker. Seventh lord in the eighth can he is like very likely to show an end. So during the Jupiter period itself, probably the Jupiter Jupiter or definitely Jupiter Mahadasha, but most likely even the Jupiter Jupiter after that. the master education will end he will give an end to the master he is stopping it or reaching the fulfillment so so the bottom line is given that he is running the dasha of rahu right now and moon and the dasha and given that jupiter and the dasha is coming next the time seems more conducive to comparing d10 and d24 this time seems more conducive to studies than to job basically so the even if he does some kind of work it will be relating to the studies mm. so studies is the key so good idea to actually go ahead and go through some studies and then plan for the long run it is will be good just plan for the long run he has um, given some four or five interviews in five different universities uh -huh. and he has got a final letter saying he is accepted in none okay one of them no one none of us uh -huh. so he hasn't been accepted yet yes sir. Okay. So I just got a call like this morning. Mm -hmm. So he was trying to find out. Mm -hmm. He's really scared. So he was just trying to find out whether he should stay or go back. Hmm. Actually, that is the other thing. We can see whether there is a chance of being here or he will go back. D four. D four. What is the dasha running right now? Saturn dasha. And the dasha is of. right now mars but rahu is coming soon okay so looking at d4 mars is in the eighth house 
and he is a male fit. So he gives Vipreet Raj Yoga, but the bottom line is... Explode also, right? Huh? It is also explode. No, no not in D4. Six, in D4, right? Sixth Lord. Sixth, Sixth and eleventh Lord in the 8th house. So he is okay. He gives Vipreet Raj Yoga. He is not specifically showing going abroad or uh, stabilizing the position abroad. On the other hand, he gives some tension being in the 8th house. He is exalted in that too. He is exalted in the 8th house. So he gives a lot of tension and anxiety. Okay. So current period is conducive to some tension, anxiety. But how, how about the next period of Rahu? He is 9th Lord in Lagna. He is 9th Lord in Lagna. So this is after April 26th. Basically later this year. This period will, is it likely that he will go back to his motherland during this period? So during this period his tensions will go away. Nine, being the ninth lord, he will give fortune and being in Lagna, ninth lord, he will basically, and Karaka for going abroad, he will stabilize his position abroad. He will either get a visa or green card or whatever, whatever basically. So his position in a foreign country will be cemented during this period. So my feeling is he doesn't have to worry about going back. Only thing is try harder. Try more universities. And maybe, because the thing is, if you look at D24, right, in Rahudasa, the Antidasa is of moon and then Mars is coming. They are not really like great. It's not like Mithri Antidasa or Venus Antidasa. They are not like the most conducive Antidasa for master's education. They are okay, basically. So, bottom line is, moreover, from the master's education of 12th house, moon is in the, uh, sorry, from the master's education of 2nd house, moon is in the 12th house of compromise. So, some compromise may also be needed. So, if you are trying all high high five universities, maybe he can set the bar a little low and try something else also as a backup plan. So keep trying. There is a good chance that he will actually find something, and it's very unlikely that he will have to go back to India in the next three years at least. Sir, if you look at the B four, I was just trying to look at. If this person is a kind of kind of a person who is actually going to settle here, or yeah, yeah, yeah. the next uh, Saturn gave me some confidence because yeah. he is also the ninth lord in the twelfth house. Uh, but the next Mahadasa is Mercury, which is the Lagna yeah. lord Dasa in yeah in the in the tenth house. Right. So yeah. So you are saying that the Saturn may take him back. Yeah, he is also the fifth lord. Yeah. Who is fifth lord? Not Mercury. Uh, uh, Yes, he is a fifth lord. Yeah. But the thing is, he is Lagna lord, he is in a trine from fifth lord. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, yes, when Mirkit Desha comes, maybe not immediately, not in 2017 itself, but eventually in Mirkit Desha, maybe Mirkit Vira Santa Desha, it is likely that he will go back. He will, but the thing is, he shouldn't think about all those things at this point of time. He should focus on Stabilizing his position in this country and then studying here and then having a career here and then who knows, he may go back. Maybe, when is Mercury Venus? Because Venus is the fifth lord, right? And he is also in the fifth house from Pakalagna. So, Venus is 2020-2023. <laughs> so, during that period, 2020-23 period, he may go back to his motherland. There is a good chance. But the thing is, the coming Saturn Rahu Antidesha will cement his position in the faraway country. Because Rahu is Karka in the Lagna, Saturn is the ninth lord in 12. Not only that, taking the Pakaragna as Lagna, because when you see foreign travel, Pakaragna is an important Lagna. Taking the Lagna lord, Mithri as a reference, from him, Saturn and Rahu are the 12th lords. The 12th from Pakaragna is important for going abroad. Saturn and Rahu own it and both of them actually aspect it. Saturn is the 10th aspect, Rahu is the 9th aspect. So, Saturn and Dasa, Rahu and Dasa is a period when I would have expected him to actually come abroad. He actually already came came here, but probably it is in that period that his position will be cemented. Until then there will be uncertainty on whether he is going to go back or stay here. <coughs> okay. Any other comments, questions? Observations? Anything else?
Ve her ürünü döken. Okay. Okay. The ninth house, the prasna is basically uh, if you if you take the uh, lagna lord, lagna lord Mercury is in seventh in seventh house. Lagna lord Mercury is in seventh house, and the the ninth house. How is the ninth house? Ninth house of father. The person is relating to father. And how is the ninth house? It contains Ketu. It contains from the ninth house taking as Lagna. Lagna lot is with eighth lot in the twelfth house, and Lagna contains seventh lot, right? So overall, looking at all these factors, uh, there is things things don't look good for father basically. Just based on the Rashi chart, there is Ketu in the ninth house, and ninth lord is affected by a, taking ninth as Lagna. Lagna lord is affected by an enemy and a functional benefit. That to eighth lord. So there is a Duryoga. But let us go now go back to the. So there are some negative indications related to father. Let us see the Rashi Valsham uh, chart in the natal chart. The leeway we have is 13 seconds. 13 seconds earlier or 10 and a half minutes far later, Lagna will change in deep fall. So we don't know if <coughs> if this is accurate or lagna has to be changed back. So it is either Scorpio or Sagittarius, right? Default lagna that we get with the time is the Sagittarius, but it could be Scorpio as well, which one explains what we know. That we need to see. First, what is the Desha running right now? Make sure three default. Based on D12, Vimshotri Dasha, the Dasha running right now is Mars, Natal Chart. Mars Dasha is running right now, based on Vimshotri Dasha of D12. Mars Dasha, Anta Dasha is Jupiter. Mars Jupiter is running. And in Mars Jupiter, there are some health problems. So Mars Jupiter, there are some health problems. Is it possible? Does it make any sense? Why? Okay, if you take Scorpio, the ninth house is cancer. Cancer, okay. How does it make sense? Lord is in sixth house and Lord is in yeah. <coughs> Jupiter is the sixth, sixth Lord. Lord. Yeah, right. Why are there problems in Mars period? Mars Mahadasya is giving health problems, why? Well, Mars is in the second house with the second lord. Right, Mars is in the second house with the second lord. But he is also Yokarka. He is Yokarka. So his period was overall may have been good. But the thing is, <coughs> he is in the Markasthana with the Marka, with his friend, son. And son being the second lord, the second is a clear Marka. So being with Marka, associated with Marka, Mars can give some tension. And moreover, he does aspect the sixth lord. He has half aspect on sixth house, but more importantly, the sixth lord Jupiter is aspected by Mars with a friendly aspect. So, he does have a role in the sixth house. But he is Mahadasa Lord. Antardasa Lord has to be prominent. And if you take Antardasa, Jupiter Antardasa is, does make sense because even though he is ninth Lord in the ninth, he is also sixth Lord. He is the, he is the sixth Lord. So, he can give some problems. But the thing is, the next Antardasa, I, I also agree that compared to Sagittarius, this makes more sense. If you take Sagittarius, the ninth house is Leo with Sun, sun in Lagna, right? Sun in Lagna with Mars, Yokarka, Mars and Sun together, it gives somebody, it shows somebody very healthy and very dharmic and etc. And uh, alcoholism doesn't make sense. And 
the Kandalad Venus will be in Mohan's side, Mohan Trikona, in third house. So somebody who maybe changes the after a lot, but somebody very successful. So it should give a good career, Kandalad in Mohan Trikona. On the other hand, if you take Cancer as ninth house, the tenth house contains K2. Right? So K2 in tenth house can give a routine career, a career as a club. More important. Kiriru is, he was a theatre artist for over 30 years. So. He was a theatre artist, okay. So, Venus should have been... Venus should have been but the thing is, even now, Venus yeah, will yeah, aspect yeah, the 10th house. Yeah, but the thing is, instead of Venus being directly the 10th lot and being in Mohan's sign, now basically Venus is just aspecting the 10th house. So, when Venus was prominent, he may have had that career and later it may have stopped. For example, in Venus, the Chaos something. Like but the thing is, Saturn in Lagna, that to 8th lot Saturn. That show a big weakness for alcohol. Uh, alcoholism or uh, smoking, these habits are given by Saturn. Saturn and Nose. They are basically the planets of depletion. And his influence on Lagna or our fifth house of uh, emotional stability, that is important for having those weaknesses, smoking, alcoholism, etc. So here Saturn is in Lagna. <coughs> that too in, that too Lagna Lord is in Adusthana. So this, this does make some sense. Now the thing is, if you take the, if you take this Lagna, so let us stick to Scorpio, let us change the time back. How much? So let me say 3530, 7330. Now, the next Santa is of Saturn. Is it better or worse? In Mars Santa Desha, Mars can be a marker by the way. Being in the second house, he can be a marker. I have a question here. Yes. Uh, since you are looking at the personal chart, how can we take the time? Not chart? personal, this is his chart. This is a natural chart. Natural. Looking at uh, his natural chart. Yeah, we are, we are, all the comments in the last several minutes were in his natural chart. Prasna, we don't do it like that. Prasna is accurate. Whatever time we cast it for, that's it. It's written in stone. Okay. So, Saturn. The answer is that of Jupiter, but next will come Saturn. How is Saturn? He is also the 7th Lord in Lagna. He is also? 7th Lord in 7th and 8th Lord. 7th and 8th Lord in Lagna, yes. He is a, clearly a marker. So if our recognition is correct, there is a danger, mortal danger, soon. Uh, basically after this period starts, which is second half of this year. So people generally say that Saturn won't kill. Oh. Why? Why I know people who are killed by Saturn, so nobody nobody has a rule that I won't kill. Everybody can kill. But he is seventh lord too. He's not just eighth lord. He's seventh lord moreover, he is aspecting own sign, seventh house. So seventh and eighth both are owned by him, but seventh is aspected also by him. So he is he may be even more partial towards seventh house. It doesn't really work that way. Now one more thing is, if this is the right chart, then the 10th lot is in 10th house, 10th lot is in one sign, sun. So Chaturthi Samadasha also applies, we can quickly check, but because we are saying something very drastic, death basically. So we want to confirm it using another dasha. So see the Chaturthi Samadasha uh, of D12. Sun is running. Sun dasha is running. Sun, sun, sun Jupiter. Okay, Sun Jupiter. No, Sun. Sun not Jupiter. Sun, sun Venus and then Sun Saturn. Sun Venus, Sun Venus. Oh, yeah, Sun Venus. Sun Venus is running. Venus is fourth lot in fourth, not a marka. Even though he is in eighth lot, he is a partial marka. He is not really that bad. But it is Saturn who comes next. And by the way, Sun is a clear marka. You all see that, right? He is the second lot in second. Right? Yes. So even compared to Mars, the other way it was Mars Saturn. This way it is Sun Saturn. Sun and Mars both are in the second house. Sun is even stronger. Stronger marka. And Mercury is, sorry not Mercury, Saturn is as we said earlier Marka. So after this May and before 2014 January, it will be Sun, Saturn and based on Inshopathy, when did we say Saturn starts in March? 12, 12, 08. 08. So it was August that way, it is May this way. So basically second half of this year and next year are very critical. These two Dashas are showing death and a very clear marka is running in another dasha, based on both, same planet. There is a 
there is little chance that you can escape. So, the Prashna seems to, no, not Prashna, the Nathan chart seems to suggest that second half of this year and all, next year is very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Such is the case and Sun Mars would have also been problematic, right? Sir? Hmm? Sun Mars, sir. Mars is a mild marka. Because he, he is a yokarka. Okay. He is marka only because he is with a friend in a marka, marka house. Uh -huh. He doesn't have such a strong agenda to kill. It is Saturn who is really the marka. He is the second lord aspect in seven, seventh lord aspect in seven. And sun being the second lord in second. Actually sun is the strongest sun. marka. Sun, sun. Yeah, sun, sun, huya. Because yeah. so the thing is, there is other it may be something else coming there. So do we say is the second half of this year more probable or... <coughs> that is difficult basically. Let us go to Kajga then. Just based on the natal desha, you can't really be that specific. Because Prachanda desha, we can't really rely on them. They may be yeah. So let us see the Kajga chart. Kajga is February 3, 2012. 16, 25, 10. Uh, the Lagna is Gemini in Rasi chart. So in this Valsamsa, do we have some leeway? Yeah, we have some leeway. So let's assume that this is accurate. So is there a chance of father passing away this year? Let's see. Let's take the Vimshotri Dasha of D12. The standard Vimshotri of D12. Okay. Forget about currently, but what are the combinations here for death? Let's see first. The ninth house is? Ninth house is? Sagittarius. Ninth, ninth house contains eighth lot. So he is worried about father. Eighth lot in the ninth house, some anxiety and worry about father. And taking Sagittarius as Lagna. Twelfth lot is in Lagna. Sixth and eighth lots are together in fourth house. Lagna lot in eighth house. Right, right. Lagna lot is in the eighth house. Exactly. Lagna lot is in the eighth house. And, and the 6th and 8th lords are together. 6th lord Venus is exalted and with the 8th lord. So who are Markas here? Yeah. Hmm? 2nd lord is always Markas. 2nd and 3rd lord Saturn is Markas because he is aspect in 2nd house. So Saturn is a Marka and he is an evil sign. So he is a Marka. Mercury is the 7th lord. But he is in, he is exalted in own sign. Rahu. He may or may not be Maraka, but Rahu is a male pick in the seventh house. So Rahu is a Maraka. So Saturn, Rahu are Markas. And Moon also you can say eighth lord. He is eighth lord with the uh, with the sixth lord. No. Exalted. Yeah. So he can also kill. So it is Moon period will be June 15 to July 7, 16. And then Rahu and Saturn will come towards the end of the year. So Rahu, Saturn are possible. But let's, before we pronounce anything, quickly check next year's chart. How is next year's chart? Again, assuming the time to be, the chart to be accurate, the ninth house is Aquarius. Right? Eighth lord is, is in the second house, Mercury. Seventh lord, sun is in the seventh house, sun. So, are there more, are there strong indications of death this year or previous year? See, the Lagna Lord, no debuted is in the third house. In the other case, Lagna Lord was in the eighth house. So, overall, looking at, comparing both the charts, my feeling is that previous chart is stronger. So, let's go back to 2004. So, uh, Rahu Dasha and Saturn Dasha I will expect. So, I will say most likely the second half of this year itself. Probably Rahu Dasha or Sen Dasha. And let's now get confirmation from the Prashna. We already made a Prashna. So in the Rashi Jad we saw that there is some, some problem. And what I want to do now is... Hmm? Yeah, let's go to D12. Let us just use the... Instead of, uh, instead of using Navamsa for past, Yakana for future, like we did in the last class, we will just use the... Uh, standard standard principles use these D12, D10, etc. So if you use D12, how is the 
Our conclusion based on Rashi chart, natal chart was that father will not survive it. The father will die soon. It's a year. So, is that possible based on this letter? Let us see. So, ninth house is Leo. <coughs> right? So, Lagna Lord is in the sixth house. He is an illegal sign. He is not strong. Aspected by Saturn. Lagna Lord is in Saturn and sign. Aspected by Saturn. So, Lagna is devoid of strength. Okay, only thing is Yokarka Mars is aspecting it, but at the same time, Maraka Sheni is also aspecting it, Lagna. So overall, Lagna is beaten down. So, uh, if Lagna is very strong, that can save. So, Lagna is weak. He has some weaknesses. And secondly, the the Maraka Sthanas, how are the Maraka Sthanas? The second house contains two main six. 12th Lord and also 3rd, 3rd, 3rd Lord in 2nd is a calm, just like 8th Lord in 7th, 3rd Lord in 2nd is a calm day some for death, he is debilitated too. So Venus in the, moreover 2 male fix in the 2nd house, now the functional male fix, functional male fix in the 2nd house will kill. Okay, Mars even though he is in the 7th house, he is Yorkarka, so he is not a killer. So Venus and Moon can kill, so 2nd house is very very dominant and the 2nd Lord Mercury, he is with the 7th Lord Rahul. And he is a moon sign. So Mara, second house is very very strong. Second is very strong and second lord is very strong. And the other thing is eighth lord Jupiter is in the third house. So there are several combinations of death. So such a strong second, second house does show that yeah probably whatever we, it's not really contradicting whatever we saw in the natal chart. And so the conclusion is that he may, he may not survive. He may not see the next birthday of, of this person. Father may die soon. <coughs> and we used to see early way back when yeah. you know, uh, combination from AL in the natal chart to see the fathers. No fathers. Uh, basically the death of a person then you could have yeah, yeah, yeah. What but that is for the net, yeah. Not that we used to see with Rikrida, not with this. Yeah, I'm not sure, I'm not sure with this, yeah. I haven't seen that. The, we used to see the Charvasa, no. not Charvasa, Shuradasa and Jiyan Shuradasa. <coughs> and then Shuradasa, our father, we used to do that, right? See, we can try that. Go to Shuradasa. But uh, do we see the... Uh, Siddhanta, keep it like this. Oh, keep it like this. See, Rashi is mostly the same anyway. And we do this in the Rashi chart. So, take the Shuradasa from ninth house to see father. Take the Shuradasa from ninth house, okay? So, the Dasa running right now is that of Aquarius. Right? Right? <coughs> this is running right now with Aquarius and it contains A9. Okay? So based on the standard traditional principle, there is a chance of death of father. A9 is in the death of sign. Any other questions or comments or observations? <coughs> and the thing is when somebody is suffering with something critical and when somebody realizes that somebody may not have a long time basically, much longevity left, if you know that that is staring at you maybe another year, two years, three years but not much time, then basically suggesting a remedy based on the ninth lord or something not really useful. Basically, you don't try to save because there is not really much chance to save. What you really do is, you whatever has happened in this life has happened. 
So you, your goal is to get a good life in the next life. Move, move on fast and get a, get a good life. So whatever devata your mind is drawn towards, whether it's Nagreshra or Kali or Durga or Ganesha, whoever it is, just pick some devata. doesn't really matter who you pick. Pick some devata and think much of your time about the God. Spend much of your time thinking about the God. So ho hopefully when you actually die, you won't get weird thoughts, but you will think about the God. So when you have some notice, you can prepare yourself. Any other questions, comments?